the Type 072 series are a family of landing ships, or more specifically, landing ship tanks for the PLA Navy, also known as LST. As the PLA ground forces became more and more mechanized in the 1980s, they can begin to take full advantage of what LSTs can offer. LSTs can send amphibious light tanks and armored personnel carriers out of both the stern and the bow gates miles off the coast, instead of disembarking them right at the beach. This allows the larger vessels to remain at some distance from enemy fire. At the beginning of the 21st century, China's naval force lacks a sufficient number of large and capable landing ships, and lacks the more advanced varieties of ships, such as amphibious assault ships and landing platform docks. Back then, Chinese amphibious landing capability is largely restricted to a relatively small number of the Type 072 and the Type 0722 landing ships. These vessels have fairly spacious carrying capacity, given their size, but by themselves are too few in numbers to fulfill China's requirements for amphibious warfare and troop reinforcements, especially in places like the South China Sea. And some of these ships are getting really old, for example the Type 072 class, which first entered service in the 1980s. Additionally, neither the Type 072 or the 0722 have a helicopter landing deck, thereby depriving them of the ability to use helicopters, which is a critical part of amphibious lift capabilities. By the start of the 21st century, of course, the PLAN had hundreds of smaller landing craft, barges, and troop transport all of which could be used together with fishing boats, trawlers, and civilian merchant ships to augment the naval amphibious fleet. However, the lack of a capable fleet of landing ships got in the way of China's ability to project amphibious forces beyond very short ranges. To address this weakness, China began to build the Type 072 Shri class of large landing ships starting in the mid-1990s. The main difference between this class and the preceding two classes is the addition of a helicopter landing platform at the stern. However, the ship still does not have hangar facilities. The Type 072 Shri was built in larger numbers than their predecessors, at 11 units in total. Construction of the entire class of 11 ships was completed by April 2002. The Type 072 Shri was used to test electromagnetic railguns for the PLA Navy. The railgun was mounted on one of the ship's bow for the purpose of dockside testing. Despite the improvements made with the Type 072 Shri, the PLAN was not satisfied. It wanted more landing ships of an equal or higher quality, and this led to the further refinement of the Type 072 series of landing ships into their current form, the Type 072A. The superstructure was slightly redesigned to be more compact and to support a slightly longer helicopter deck at the aft. The class retained the long front deck of its predecessors, and a tunnel through the superstructure connecting the front deck with the rear flight deck. The two 37mm anti-aircraft guns that were present on the superstructure of the Type 072 Shri were removed and only a single forward twin gun turret was retained on the Type 072A. So the level of armament has decreased, but this arguably is not too important for a landing ship. On the later models of the class, starting from the 10th vessel, the HPJ-76F 37mm gun was replaced 
but the much more capable HPJ-17 30mm cannon. Within the ship, the vehicle deck in which the armoured vehicles are stored runs the full length of the ship, from the bow all the way to the stern. This photo demonstrates perfectly what I'm saying. As shown in this photo, the Type 072A has a single continuous cargo section within the ship for storing amphibious armoured vehicles. They can be deployed either through the ship's front bow gate or through the stern gate. Indeed, the Type 072A has a vehicle gate at the front and at the rear for efficient deployment of amphibious armoured vehicles. The vehicle deck is not a well deck, because it is not floodable, but it does allow the deployment of armoured fighting vehicles. The Type 072A has the capacity for a maximum of 500 troops, 10 amphibious armoured vehicles and 2 small landing craft. In addition to disembarking off the coast and in the middle of the sea, the landing ship can also land on the beach directly and unload its cargo of troops and vehicles directly on the beach. This will of course require that it is safe to do so. The Type 072A has a large helicopter landing deck. According to some sources, two medium helicopters can be deployed to augment amphibious lift capabilities. However, looking at photos of the ship, it seems likely only a single medium helicopter can be deployed, like the Z-8, or two smaller helicopters like the Z-20 or the Z-9C. Overall displacement is 4,800 tons at full load, with a length of 120 meters and a beam of 16.4 meters. Complement is 68 crew members, excluding the onboard passengers. The ship is powered by two diesel engines rated at 9,626 horsepower. They provide a top speed of 20 knots. Operational range is 5,500 kilometers at 14 knots. So the class is more suited to short and medium range amphibious operations and not for long distances. Endurance is 20 days. China has built a total of 15 ships in the class across three different shipyards. The first of these was commissioned in 2004, shortly after the commissioning of the last Type 072 Shri class. With the addition of the Type 072A class, the PLAN now has a total of at least 36 reasonably modern and capable landing ship tanks, or LSTs. China has continued to build more LSTs throughout the 2010s, although construction of these ships has slowed in the 2020s. The vast majority of the Type 072A LSTs has been deployed to either the South Sea Fleet, which is responsible for the South China Sea, or to the East Sea Fleet facing Taiwan. So, the class is perceived to be playing an important role in a potential contingency in the South China Sea, possibly involving another nearby country. Alternatively, the LSTs will be crucial for a possible situation involving Taiwan, which is not all that surprising given the short range of the ships and the fact that Taiwan is only 100 miles from mainland China. Landing ship tanks by nature are not complicated warships. They don't come with fancy weapons and advanced technologies. But nevertheless, they are very much in demand by the Chinese Navy owing to China's unique strategic requirements.